everybody, Alira here. So today I want to go over the updates that happened on Friday, August 18th. So again, I'm a little behind, but my life has just been super hectic. So I hope that you guys can forgive me once again, and um, let's just go ahead and go over it. And if you know all this information, that's okay. Um, I hope that maybe you can learn a little something. So um, let's just go ahead and get started on that. Here is this week's icon, and that icon is by Cynix from the uh, Creatures of Scenaria Discord. I think that um, I really like it. It is a picture of Sarah Day. Next up is the update log, and Wolfragon posted that Sarah Day was added as a time gotcha creature for 200 hours. Apofuex was added as a mission creature. Hellion Warden was changed to 300 hours. There was the removal of the Summer Paradise event, and the new title for the Summer Paradise event was added, Coral Diver. Sarah Day was added for 200 hours, as you can see. You get a 100% drop rate, obviously. So, how many points is that? Let's see. That was 12,000 points when I went in there. And as you can see, it was red. I obviously did not have that many. I was kind of excited when I went in last time and found that I had um, almost 5,000 points. And um, when I went in to get Sarah Day and saw that I only had the 5,000, I was not as excited anymore uh, because it was 5,000 or 12,000 for Sarah Day. All right, so um, here is a picture of Apofuex. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Why do they keep doing that with these names, guys? It's killing me. Apofuex? Okay, so here is the concept for Apofuex. And uh, next up, let's read a little bit about the missions for Apofuex. Uh, so for Apofuex, you need to experience two winters in the swamp biome, deal 60 poison to other creatures, emit radiation for 10 minutes, and spin the toxic gotcha three times. Okay, so that's it for those creatures. That's it for the updates. Um, let's move on to the showcases for these two creatures. So first up, we have Sarah Day. Sarah Day is a tier four terrestrial carnivore available in the time gotcha for 200 hours or 12,000 minutes. A stored version can be bought from the trial shop for 937 shooms. Okay, as I read this, I realize that I got the two mixed up. Um, it's not 12,000 points, it's 12,000 minutes. Sorry about that, guys. Got that mixed up. Okay, so um, the description states that Saraday are large terrestrial creatures with a docile nature. They enjoy basking in the sun and exploring tropical areas and eating lots of shellfish and fish. For you role players out there, the creature behavior states that Sarah Day are known for bringing good luck and strength through time and prosperity. The Sarah Day resembles an eastern dragon with vivid color palette of oranges and blues and several crystal-like spikes along its head and tail. It also has lots of orange fur and feathers on its body. The abilities of the Sarah Day are Bleed Reflect, Bleed, Poison, Bleed Defense, Streamlined, and Water Breath. If you do not need an explanation of the abilities, skip to this time. Bleed Reflect is a passive ability that instead of offensively inflicting bleed, defensively inflicts bleed when under a close ranged attack, unaffected by bleed defense and unbreakable. Bleed. Bleed is a passive offensive ability where a creature inflicts a specific amount of bleed status on a creature with every bite, not with breath ranged abilities or reflecting abilities. AKA offensive bleed. 
This particular passive offensive is resisted by creatures with the bleed defense ability, and it does not work against creatures with the unbreakable ability. The opposite of bleed passive ability is thorns. Poison. Poison is a status effect that is inflicted by receiving damage and contains three levels of severity when stacking the effect, similar to other poisons such as toxin and radiation sickness. The first stage from 0 to 11 of this effect decreases health and stamina regeneration by 25%. From 11 to 20, it depletes stamina by 3% every 3 seconds. From 20 and higher, it damages 3% of the target's max health every 3 seconds. If sitting and laying, the health of creatures inflicted with this effect will not be lowered by this status below 10%. Bleed Defense Bleed Defense is a passive ability that allows the creatures to resist the effects of bleed. It is percentage-based. For example, if an attacker deals 5 bleed per hit and the receiver has 60% bleed defense, then the receiver gets only 2 of that 5 bleed. If a creature's bleed defense is 100%, then they are immune to bleed done by melee direct attacks once fully grown. This ability is gained gradually as a creature ages. That is, a creature with 100% bleed defense will have some fraction of bleed defense while growing, being such fraction bigger as it grows. Streamlined Streamlined is a passive ability which buffs the player when submerged underwater for more than 15 seconds. When the player is submerged in water for 15 or more seconds, they will receive the following buffs. 25% more speed, 100% more stamina regeneration, 100% more total stamina, 25% slower hunger drain. Water Breath Water Breath is an active ability using the breath control that is a type of water elemental breath that inflicts 1.2 DPS, sapped energy, and blurred vision on targets. If the user's stamina is depleted, target has 10% of their health sapped and return to the user of this ability. A little trivia. Original and redesigned concepts are by Undiri and the Creature of Scenaria Discord. Saraday's initial design was inspired by a wolf, a lion, and crystals. Saraday's redesign was inspired by Eastern Dragons. The previous model was by Erythia. This creature was originally planned to be a limited creature or designed to serve as a creature for the testers of the game. This was later changed with the developers choosing the Sigmatox instead. As a result, Saraday was declared a scrapped concept. However, it returned with a redesign in August of 2023. It was then later added on August 19, 2023, alongside a Pofoex, another scrapped concept with which returned. Okay, that's it for Sarah Day. Now let's move on to move on to a Pofoex. A Pofoex is a tier 3 terrestrial carnivore available as a mission creature. A stored version is available in the trial shop for 562 shooms. There's no description for this creature. The abilities are Toxin, Poison, Bleed Defense, Iron Stomach, and Area Poison. If you do not need a description of these abilities, skip to this time. Note that Toxin and Poison have the same description, so I'm going to lump the two together. So Toxin and Poison are... Note that Toxin and Poison are a general term for creatures that afflict the Poison status. Poison and Toxin have three levels that generally increase in severity after reaching a certain number. 0 to 11 decrease health and stamina regen by 25%. 11 to 
11 to 20 depletes stamina by 3% every 3 seconds. Over 20 damages for 3% of your max health every 3 seconds and decreases health regeneration by an additional 25%. You can't fall below 10% health if sitting or laying. Bleed Defense Bleed Defense is a passive ability that allows creatures to resist the effects of bleed. It is percentage-based. For example, if an attacker deals 5 bleed per hit and the receiver has 60% bleed defense, then the receiver gets two of that five bleed. If a creature, if a creature's bleed defense is 100%, then they are immune to bleed inflicted by melee direct attacks once fully grown. This ability is gained gradually as the creature ages. That is, a creature with 100% bleed defense will have some fraction of bleed defense while growing being such fraction bigger as it grows. Iron Stomach Iron Stomach is a passive ability which allows the user to eat rotten meat without getting the sickness ailment. Please note that while the Iron Stomach ability prevents getting this ailment, it doesn't remove the damage taken nor the thirst lost when eating rotten meat. Area Poison this ability gives nearby creatures plus 10 poison when activated, affected by poison resistance, with 120 second cooldown. It works after the creature the user is fighting already has, at minimum, one or more poison ailment. If area poison hits an unpoisoned creature, the ability will not function correctly and the poison will not be applied. A little trivia. The original concept is by Happy Poltergeist in the Creature of Scenaria Discord. The Apophoex was inspired by the Magmasaur, the Diplocolis, and Flying Lizards. The redesign concept was by YY underscore XX in the Creatures of Scenaria Discord. The original Apophoex was modeled by Jackson Burb. Okay, so that's it for the showcases. All right, guys, so it was very hard for me to get my hands on Sarah Day, so I will not be giving a Sarah Day away. If I am able to get my hands on another one, I will go ahead and do um, a giveaway for both of these guys, um, but I'm not going to be doing any giveaways this week. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, but I will post a giveaway if I'm able to get my hands on more of these. I'm definitely going to keep trying. You guys know me. I'm persistent. <laughs> I usually get what I want. Um, anyways, so that's it for me. Um, thank you for watching. I'm really sorry I'm behind again. Next week, I'm going to make a really hard attempt to be on time. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me, um, even though I'm behind sometimes and um, even though I took a long break. Be kind to one another and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.